All right, I'm going to be honest with you. My hat goes off to the trooper in this one, man. This trooper was driving the hell out of that 5.7 Hemi. A Kawasaki Ninja, that's right, a sport bike, took off on the trooper in the 5.7 Hemi. And when I tell you this trooper was on his ass, I mean just that. He did not let this bike go. 120, 130, 144, it did not matter how fast the trooper was there. He was going so fast at one point, he actually passed the biker on the highway. That's how fast that 5.7 was moving. You know what I mean? They hit this biker with the book. He turned a simple speeding ticket into a felony and 10 misdemeanors, bro. He's not getting out anytime soon. But once again, if you don't know what you're doing on that bike, you don't deserve it. Either way, let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes us a house vlog. You know what's going down. I'm going to come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out. So just a quick little update. The Hellcat is still down, still getting some work done to it. Big power coming. Just wait on it. I'm telling you, it'll be worth the wait. All right, trust me. But either way, let's go ahead and get into, man. Let's go ahead and get into this foolishness right here. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Troopers witness motorcycle speeding on the interstate. Corporal Mark responds and locates one of the motorcycles. All right, turns his lights on. Guarantees that was one of them. So he's going backwards on the on ramp. All right, so there's the biker right there, puts the light on him. Me personally, I would have just blocked him in, but he decides he's gonna get behind him. You hear that engine? Now it's some chase. Let's go. We got ourselves a chase now.
107 tops out at about 140. At this point, he could pit the shit out of him. Now, I know in most states, if not all states, it's illegal to pit a motorcyclist. But I'm just saying, if he wanted to end the chase right now, it could be ended. 141, and the trooper's literally about to pass the biker. All right, so he does the smart thing, throws on brakes. All right, accelerates, he's gone. time I stop it but you gotta understand when you're running from police the highway is only advantageous to you if you have enough power to get away from them if you're driving a slow ass car or in this case a slow ass bike all you're doing is just allowing them to stay with you like they just keep an eye on you at this point like you're not going anywhere this is when you want to get on the back roads when you don't have the power and you just got to use your driver skill I'm just saying look at that That's close right there. That is close. He tried. Look at the look at the fire coming out the exhaust. Did you see that? That's dangerous. Getting air time. All right, so this is where the bike exceeds, right? Or excels, is with the acceleration, not with the top speed. trooper man nothing but respect for the trooper he pushing that 57 top speed that the bike can't mess with. Oh, 
Did he crash? Nope. have the power your boy had two out of the three he knew where he was going because i mean he was getting on and off the highway taking the back roads he could have done more on the back roads i'll be honest with you i mean once he got off the highway that's when you want to hit all of those turns like you want to shake the cops as much as you can what he was doing was he was basically just getting off the highway just to get on like a freeway to go straight and that doesn't work because that hemi had more power but he didn't have the power and that's the problem. He got on the highway thinking that he was just going to smoke that 5.7 and it did not work. The highway is only good for cars that have more power, which is why I say that with scats and cats. You know what I'm saying? And modified 5.7s, uh, modified 5.0s, 350s, 500s, uh, Camaro SS, 2SS, ZL1, ZR1, all that shit. When you got power in those cars, the highway is your best friend. But if you don't have the power... All the highway is going to do is drain your, your tank of gas quicker. That's it. Because that cop is going to be on your ass the entire way. And this video right here proves that cop was on his ass the entire way. I'm talking about close enough to him to the point that, I mean, the biker could have been in the, the passenger seat of the 5.7 Hemi. Like, there were a couple times where the 5.7 was actually, you know, beating him in a race. Now, with the biker being lighter, having that powerful ninja engine or whatever... And you guys got to tell me what type of bike this is. It just says Kawasaki Ninja. I don't know if it's a 650 or, you know, whatever, a thousand. But uh, it can't be a thousand because there's no way in hell that a, a 4,500 pound 5.7 Hemi should be catching up to a, a bike like this. But it's a Ninja regardless. Um, but either way, uh, you know, it's just one of them things like if you don't have the power, all you're going to do is, you know, just you're just going to be observable at that point. Like that cop is just going to be watching you. Like, he can't pitch you, right? I don't think that's legal in any state. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think any, any uh, tr uh, you know, law enforcement agency can pit maneuver a um, motorcycle. I think in North Carolina, and I could be wrong, um, I don't even think you can chase motorcycles at this point. I think at one point we could. When I say we, I'm talking about North Carolina. But I think at this point, they will pretty much just let you go. And in this situation, like, if you look at it, uh, another cop, another trooper, was the one that uh, witnessed four motorcycles on Interstate 490, uh, 49 
traveling over 90 miles an hour while I traveled northbound. So it was one trooper that saw four bikers speed racing or drag racing on the highway. And then it was the other trooper that was like, oh, I think I see one of them. And that's how the chase started. So technically the trooper that apprehended him didn't even see him speeding. It was just one of those things like I just got a call from my boy. He said that all four of you were racing. I happened to see you. And then it was on. You know, truth be told, if he had not just, if he had just taken an L, he might have been able to talk his way out of it. And the reason I say that is because the trooper didn't witness him speeding, didn't witness him uh, speed racing on the highway or racing on the highway. So it would have been a situation like, well, was that you? And if he was smart, he could have denied, denied, denied. And if they had no evidence, license plate, make and model of the vehicle, you know, um, description of the, the assailant, he probably could have got away with that. He, could have, he probably could have talked his way out of it. Like, hey, listen, that wasn't me. I'm on my way home. You know, I just left cookout. Just wanted to get some chicken. I'm on my way home. I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even on the highway at that time, as a matter of fact. He probably could have talked his way out of it. But considering he took off running, that's what happened. So let's look at the uh, what he was charged with. Uh, transported to Washington County Detention Center. Uh, and he was charged with the following. Fleeing, which is a felony. Reckless driving, speeding. Improper display of license tag. No motorcycle endorsement. Unsafe lane change. Improper turn signal. Fail to stop at red light. Driving left of center, failure to yield at intersection. So we're looking at one felony and potentially 10 misdemeanors. So your boy went from a simple talking his way out of a ticket to one felony and 10 misdemeanors. That's what happens. If you don't have the power, You number one, you don't need to be running from police. And number two, you certainly don't need to be on the highway because at that point, you're just, you're just slow. You're just really slow. And that's what this bike was the entire time, really slow. I've always thought that ninjas were extremely fast, but, I, you know, acceleration-wise, he takes off. He took off on the cop two or three times from, a, you know, from a, a low speed to, you know, getting the top speed or whatever. But it was the top speed that killed him because that's when that 5.7, you know, maxed out at 140, 144 at one point. And then uh, apparently the Kawasaki pretty much tops out at like 130, 135 because he couldn't get away from the 5.7 after he got about to 140. So... You know, it is what it is, man. But shout out to this officer, man. He was driving the hell out of that 5.7, man. I mean, from the highway to the back roads, it is not easy hanging with a motorcycle, especially in a big, heavy police, uh, you know, cruiser that's weighed down by all sorts of uh, um, equipment and stuff like that. It is not easy to hang with them, but he hung, he hung with them the entire time. So, I mean, my hat goes off to him, but your boy on the bike, he doesn't need a bike. I don't think he was even supposed to be on the bike. Uh, improper fail to turn, improper display of license, no motorcycle endorsement. So his ass is not even supposed to be on the bike to begin with. So yeah, he needs to go ahead and give that up and go get him a Honda or something because this ain't him. You know what I mean? This ain't him. But as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. It's Benny Boy Knockout 360. Like I said, the Hellcat is in the shop getting big, big, big power. Hopefully I'll have it this time next week, possibly. So uh, that's why the content has been uh, kind of focused around um, uh, police chases and things like that. I've got some other stuff planned for this week, too. But I just wanted to let you know why we're uh, focusing so much on the uh, reaction videos. But as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. It's Mini Boy Knockout. I'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.